Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. Today we're taking a look at our 4 gig graphics cards. What will we be doing with them? But before we get started, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. So we have two cards. In my very first video, we displayed four AMD graphics cards that we put in a server case. Two of those cards were 4 gig cards. The XFX RX 574GB and the PowerColor RX 484GB. Now these two cards mine very well on Ethereum, but as you know the DAG file has gotten to about 4 gigs, which you are unable to mine Ethereum with 4 gig graphics cards. What are we going to do with these cards? Are we going to sell them? Are we going to mine different algorithms with them? What can we mine with them? Let's find out. So we've got the RX 470, this specific model. And then we've got the XFX RX 570 RX edition. These cards mined Ethereum at 30 mega hash per second with a very low power consumption. See what they can mine and see what the profitability is for these cards. Currently, Bitcoin is at $23,000, Ethereum is at $654, and Ethereum Classic is at $6.43. I'm going to select the, the 470 as this is the 4 gig version. This is the 8 gig version, and we don't have the 8 gig. So I'm going to select the 470 and the 570. And let's actually see what is profitable. Okay, we definitely know that we can't mine Ethereum. And we can't use this on NYSASH. So our next best option would be to mine Ravencoin. At $1.60 per day. And $0.26 cents after electricity but 26 cents per day for two cards is not that profitable let's take a look at what the hash rate is for Ravencoin at the moment they're saying that you can get about 25 25 mega hash for Ravencoin and that's for both cards so we've selected just the 480 it's saying that we can get about 12 mega hash per second. The RX 570, we can get about can get about 13 mega hash per second. We need to cancel the first two out. It would be great if we could still mine Ethereum with the squads because they were quite profitable. Let's use nice hash software to benchmark all the algorithms for these squads and see what speeds we get on each algorithm. As you can see, we've got the RX 480 and the RX 570, both 4 gig versions. Let's see what they benchmark at. Let's take a look at the RX 480, 4 gig after benchmark. Uh, the most profitable coin to mine currently is Beam version 3. At 13 souls per second, uh, you're earning about 2,800 Satoshis per day. That is the RX 480. The most profitable algorithm is Kapow. Mining at 9.5 mega hash per second at 2400 satoshis per day. Let's turn on these cards and actually see what, what they earn. Okay, that's more or less where we're at. 2500 and 2200 satoshis per day. You're probably looking at about $1.20 per day for both cards. The Beam and Kapow algorithm is probably the most profitable algorithms that you can mine with currently with these 4 gig cards. As we look at the top two algorithms that the RX 480 can mine, which is Beam version 3 at 13.1 souls per second and Kapow at 10.7 mega hash per second. We're going to populate that into our minor stat settings. So we've got Beam at 13 mega hash per second 
and we've got Kapow at 10.7 megahertz per second. Let's save this change and see what is the most profitable. So with Ravencoin, you're going to be mining about 70 cents per day, 29 cents profit after the electricity, and then Beam is at 67 cents a day. As you can see, our electricity cost is more than our profits, but at least there's still a bit of a profit. Let's take a look at the RX570, the most profitable coin with the RX574 gig is Beam at 11.2 sols per second and the Kapow algorithm at 9.5 megahertz per second. So let's populate that into our minus stats and see what our profits are. Electricity, the RX570 is currently using about 107 watts. So 9.6 megahertz per second at, at 107 watts. Let's save these changes. Power algorithm, Ravencoin is the most profitable at 63 cents per day and estimated profits at 17 cents per day. At the moment, the RX 480 is at 13 sols per second at 2,891 Satoshis per day. And our RX 574 gig is mining at 7.344 megahash per second. And the profits are 1,959 Satoshis a day. These two cards generate about $1.15, which is still profitable, but not as profitable as it used to be when it ran on Ethereum. Which is a pity because these cards were really good at mining Ethereum at about 30 megahash per second. Thank you so much for making it till the end of this video. I know this was a long video, but I needed to cover everything on the algorithms of the RX 480 and the RX 570 and the power consumption of these cards. Just to see if it is still profitable to mine on or if you need to sell or even put it into a gaming machine to use. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.